And the wait is over for Disney fans. I actually already took action on this mm. this morning. I am a subscriber oh, now of Disney Plus. Me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so yes, you're right. Disney Plus officially launched today. The new streaming service will feature franchises including Marvel and Star Wars films. Disney Plus will cost users about $7 a month. The new service will have some tough competition, though, going up against existing services such as Netflix and Amazon Prime. And Ginny and Ken, I've actually heard, though, about some glitches already with Disney Plus. So they've got to get it together. Oh, well, I didn't have any issue. Maybe on the West mm -hmm. Coast it's going more smoothly. So that's good. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have that's that bad good. weather that could be so messing smooth. up the signals. There you go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And I like sailing out west. Uh -huh. yeah. Blame it on the weather out here on the east. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. My, my question is, I mean, how do you figure it all out? I mean, with right. so many streaming services, it's so, so many, many offerings. So many services. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. It's too many. The field is very crowded now. And the whole idea of this was cutting the cord. But when you add them all up, you're getting a closer. I mean, you're about at the price of cable again. So the idea right. of this was, yeah. you know, just uh, setting things up your way, but, you know, and cutting costs, but mm, not so much now. Yeah. You could just be dumb like me and have cable and all of the streaming and services. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so I have no money left for anything else. <laughs>